hey, I took this break from YouTube, and then I like told Amanda that I uh, wanted like an open relationship, and I didn't like mean like I want to fuck a bunch of people, but I want like this open idea, you know, where I'm not I don't feel like someone else is is dictating what I what I can and can't do because I've stopped dictating what other people can and can't do. I've accepted that people are what they are, and all I can do is be myself um, and enjoy the situation. But, boy, it's an extreme point of view. I think people are really, really freaking out about it. And then I'm thinking today, like, dude, what am I doing? Is this going to be like, is this like a sex cult? I don't want to get into that shit. The sex isn't that important. The sex, the physical crap isn't that important. I'm talking about like openness, you know, like emotional openness, like where you're not worried if someone, if you're spending time with like groups of people. I know Amanda's feeling neglected because I'm spending more time with other people, but I think in order to accomplish something big, you can't, you can't get married and then close off to everyone else. You got to kind of keep pushing forward. And meeting more and more and more and more and more people. Um, I want to, God, I want to let you guys know, I'm not, I'm not one to make crazy rash decisions or just get an idea in my head and go for it. I like to, when I want to believe something or when I have an idea, I will believe it and see what happens. And then I'll decide if I want to continue to believe it. I really think we have that much control over what we believe. That we can choose to commit to something. An idea. A concept. So I'm kind of committed to this idea of, of an open relationship. I like it. I like the idea of like... I like it more than not being able to. Like not being able to. That's, that's awful. I don't want that. Um, but God, I, I'm not like... <coughs> I'm not freaking out or anything. And I think everybody, all my friends are freaking out. Amanda's family's freaking out. My family's freaking out. I'm sure people on YouTube that are watching my videos are freaking out. So I just read earlier that somebody unsubscribed to my things because I'm too depressing. <laughs> That's a shame. I, uh, Maybe I'm delving too deeply into emotion and it's freaking people out. Like I'm pushing the barriers so much that it's freaking people out. At work today I told I was told some people about how man and I have been discussing having like a, some level of open relationship and a couple of the guys were said, well, one of the guys said, I want to tell you about that because that was kind of what did my relationship in. Another guy was like, you got balls, man. And then I told this girl, and she said, it's the beginning of the end. And then she walked away. And I was like, jeez. And then I started thinking, man, does everyone have a point? Or is everyone just scared? Or both? And I guess there's no way to know until you try it. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? You feel pain. There's nothing really wrong with that. It's just life experience. You don't have to keep doing it. It's not like you open Pandora's box and you're doomed. I think you just become more comfortable with yourself. At least that's what, from my experience, that's what I've done in the past when I've tried new things, like scary things. I'm, I'm doing really well. I feel, I mean, I'm, I'm so different than I've ever been before, but like, I feel so balanced and accepting of people. And I just made this video to Gary uh, about 20 minutes ago and like, I was, I was kind of ed edgy, I was a little on edge and a little, had like anxiety and I wish that I didn't. I was just, I allowed myself to be provoked when he had been, when he was saying that I, I talk a lot of bullshit, he kept saying that over and over and then he said that he thought I didn't have any idea what I was talking about that I didn't believe what I was saying and like it doesn't upset me because I know the only reason he's saying that is because he's 
you know, got his own stuff going on. The only reason anyone says anything is because they've got their own stuff going on. Everyone responds differently. And no one person like knows the answer or has the, the right idea. We all just have different ideas. And none of them are wrong. And what I'm saying isn't bullshit. It's just different. It's just an idea. And I, and I want to see what people think. And I'm afraid to do it and to say it. I'm afraid to put myself out there and say what I, what I want, but I'll do it anyway. And that to me is like, that's balance. That's what I seek out in other people. I want people to do that stuff around me because it inspires me to do it more. And then I feel great and I feel comfortable and then I can do that with everyone and then I, you know, can do anything. I can have any career. I can, I feel like I can accomplish anything. I don't want to make this 15 minutes again. That's fucking obnoxious. I'm sorry about doing that. Um, you guys, I, I am, I'm not sorry I am sorry that I've been putting people through this in a way because of the pain. Because I've been experiencing a lot of pain and I've been doing it publicly and I think it's putting a lot of people on edge and I don't want that to happen because I'm purging my pain. I, I'm, I'm becoming comfortable with it so that I don't keep feeling it subconsciously anymore. It's not like under my skin just jabbing at me. It's Now it's on the surface and I'm embracing it and I'm fucking, I'm cool with it. I love it. I'm a better actor than I've ever been in my life because I'm just so comfortable. I'm a, I'm a better person than I've ever been in my life because I'm so comfortable. I just make eye contact with people casually. I listen more than I used to, not all the time. But God, I'm trying. That's the big one is listening. That's the big, the big one that nobody really wants to do. Everybody wants to hear the words say okay 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 and then say what they think but you, you gotta let people like affect you you know you gotta you gotta respond to what people say rather than respond with whatever idea you have um and this idea about emotions i don't know if it's right I mean, it's not right it's just a different concept because yeah anger is an emotion i always thought that i always thought you get angry you're being emotional you're yelling but now i think like we kind of bastardize the word emotion to say like, oh, I'm in touch with my emotions because I get angry a lot. But we're not really in touch with our emotions if we're getting angry a lot. We're just getting angry a lot. We're avoiding that peaceful core, that painful but peaceful balanced core, which I think is like ultimately that's emotion. That's the most important emotion if anything, if there's such a thing. I'm, I'm really... I feel good. I feel great. And I feel in pain, but, you know, I'm getting used to it, and that's okay. That, that kind of fades. It doesn't go away, but you just get desensitized to it the more you experience it. It's the only way to get over anything is to experience it. I gotta go, I gotta go to rehearsal for this show tonight. I'm playing Vera. Vera. She's a stripper with a blonde wig. Go to my MySpace page, uh, myspace.com backslash crossmac. And uh, there, on my comments, there's a picture of me and Rebecca in, uh, in costume. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus! All right, see you guys later.